there's a lot of calves being born on a farm like this, Gary. So the farmer here, Duncan, is creating his own um, solution here, I suppose. Or yeah. So what what what's happening here? These used to be actually on the original farm that we're down on the 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 older side of the farm as such so it used to be some older buildings and uh, an actual a small silo that's been cleared away and what you have here is we have three we have three sheds being built at present um, what it is is for pure rotation of calves so at any one time one shed will be completely empty and basically it'll be sterilized cleaned out and then ready for the next batch of calves so if there is something comes into them it's always limited till one shed rather than have them a uh, all grouped together and, and catching a, a disease or an illness or something like that so pretty much always fail safe but one shed will be empty and sterilized at all times for it okay so is there a central feed passage so to speak yes either side of it then or central oh. central feed passage you can actually see as well you can drive right around the building as we were up with the pasteurizing as well if there is milk has to come down with the quad it's very easy to get in access around it um and then you know as i said just for more feed then down each side of it then yeah okay and will it be vented sheeting all on the side or is it going to be digestible i think it's it's vented sheeting right 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 around it on, yeah. on this building fine just looking at the drainage here it's just we're still in the construction phase here but it starts high there and it's 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 running running the whole fast enough pace down to keep the liquid moving keep the liquid moving again it, it'll be it is quite a fall but also as well you can see everything's falling into these passages from from it and it's it, with the process of wanting to wash everything out that you know whenever mm -hmm. the, there's no calves in here it's just easy to take away the water quickly and the central feed or the central passage there where the cherry picker sitting at the minute it's falling left and right exactly yeah well. yeah so again you know it's, it's wide enough that you could potentially get down here uh, with a tractor but mainly it's for around here it's all quads and atvs for doing this type of area yeah and the concrete surface is is you know it's there's no tamp finish it's there's nothing going to stick here it's no it's all smooth yeah all, all smooth just rubbed up with it yeah composite uh, drain ultimately probably here that'll go on that like that it'll go composite drain again easy easy to lift you can see the concrete will lift in easy to lift it out so that they, whenever they are washing that they don't have to wash around the drains as such everything and just fall into that yeah. one gully yeah so Gary behind the wall there is the play cooler so this is where the milk comes out and the routine on this farm here is all milk fed the calves pasteurized. Yes, yeah, so all milk fed the calves pasteurized. You can see the um, the quads and the actual milk taxi going up to the calf the calf area. So the calves are actually they're still on the on the farm, but they're in a totally different location to where the main cows are. Um, we have two pasteurizers just with the amount of milk that does need pasteurized, but the system's all automatic. So basically, they attach up this pipe onto the bottom of the pasteurizer and then they press the green button and that will load the milk from the parlor directly into the into each pasteurizer it pasteurizes um, and then they can load it in the milk taxi and take it to the calves the system's totally self-contained it'll automatically wash itself whenever the parlor's washing and um, so that it, there's no it's very easy it, everything about what has been done here is just to make things easy for operators and you know making things as, as good as we can for the cows and the calves why, why the routine of pasteurizing milk being fed to calves? Just, uh, well, the customer always believed it's better to feed the, cal the calves proper milk from the, from the cows rather than having uh, powdered milk. He did still used to feed powdered milk, but he much prefers pasteurized milk. Okay. And this is a transport method then, one of the transport methods? Transport methods for the milk. It has its own built-in pump with a little engine all on it, so basically they can go along and feed the calves as they're, as they're moving. Yeah.